In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the amount of a solution at a desired strength when you're given the strength and the amount of its stock solution. With that being said, question number one reads, how much of a 10% weight per weight in grams ammonium solution can be made from 1,800 grams of 28% weight per weight strong ammonium solution? The quickest and easiest way to answer a question like this is to use a formula that was introduced in one of our previous videos. And if you recall, if you watched that previous video, the formula was quantity one times the concentration of quantity one is equal to quantity two times its concentration. So we've been given the stock quantity being 1800 grams and its concentration being 28%. Substituting those values into the left side, we have 1800 grams, multiply to 28% written as a decimal, and that can be done by dividing it by 100%, gives us 0 0.28. And on the right side of the equation, it is quantity two that we're looking for. Remember, I'm showing you how to determine the amount of a solution given a desired strength. So this will be left blank, that's what we're looking for, but its strength is 10%. So that part we know. Solving for Q sub two requires that we multiply the left side. So 1800 times 0 0.28 gives us 504. And these two get rewritten. To isolate for Q sub two, which is the value we're looking for, we divide both sides by 0 0.1. And then we end up with a Q2 value. Dividing these two out is 5,040 grams. So starting with a stock solution that is 1,800 grams at 28% strength, we would need a solution that is 5,040 grams to create a strength that's 10%. Another way to approach these problems is by calculating the active ingredient found in this 1,800 gram solution. And that can be done by setting up a fraction. So we know that this solution consists of an active ingredient, the solute, which gets mixed in with the solvent. We don't know the amount of active ingredient, so I'll call it X, but I do know that the entire solution is 1800 grams. So X amount of active ingredient is found within 1800 grams of the entire solution. And together, that makes 0 0.28. This is where this weight per weight expression comes. That is, a known weight of active ingredient was combined with a known weight of non-active ingredient, together making 1,800 grams. We can easily solve for the active ingredient, its mass, by making this into a proportion. So I make 0 0.28 over 1. And I can solve this by cross multiplying. Taking 1800 times 0 0.28, that gives us 504 grams. Remember, this is a unitless number. And 1 times x is x. So 504 grams out of the total 1800 grams consist of active ingredient. Now, when you dilute something, the amount of active ingredient doesn't change. So I'll create another fraction where this time the total amount is unknown. But when you divide 500 by that total amount, you should get a desired strength of 0 0.10. It's getting diluted. It's going from being 28% to 10%. So expect X to be greater than 1800. By solving for X using the same way as before, cross multiplying, you should end up with a value that is 5,040 grams, and that's precisely what we found when we did it this way. So really, it depends on you whether you want to take this route or the active ingredient route. Sometimes it's better to take the active ingredient route because sometimes the question might ask you for the amount of active ingredient as well. In question number two, how much in milliliters of a one to 5,000 weight per volume solution of phenyl mercuric acetate can be made from 125 milliliters of a 0.2% solution. So this is our stock solution. 
and I'll substitute those values into Q1 and C1. And this part right here, in the previous question, it was written as a percentage, 10%, and it was weight per weight. Over here, it's weight per volume. That doesn't change how we solve this. But one in 5,000 is the same thing as one over 5,000. And every fraction can be written as a decimal, and decimals can be made into percentages. So if I wanted to know what this was as a decimal, I would simply take one divided by 5,000, and my calculator should give me something like this, which means 0 0.0002. If I wanted this as a percentage, I would multiply by 100%. But since I'm solving for Q2, I need this value to be a decimal anyway. So I have the formula Q1, C1, Q2, C2. 125 is the quantity of the stock times its concentration being 0.2%, which needs to be made into a decimal. So divide by 100%, and you get 0 0.002. Simply shift the decimal place twice to the left. 0 0.002. And quantity two is what we're looking for. It has to have a strength of 0 0.0002. Let's go ahead now and solve for Q sub two, multiply these out, and then divide by this factor. 125 times 0 0.002 divide that by 0 0.0002 and that gives us a quantity of 1250 milliliters and that's the amount that we need to get a percentage or a strength that's 1 in 5000 now what we don't discuss in questions 1 and 2 is how the dilution process occurs in order for you to know that, let's go back to this example, question number one's example. After we calculated the active ingredient of 504, that means out of the 1800 grams, 1296 was non-active ingredient. So 504 plus 1296, this is active ingredient and this is non-active ingredient. I'll call it NIA for short. Then we learned that we needed 5,040 grams of a complete solution to get a strength of 10%. Since the active ingredient doesn't change in a dilution, subtracting that amount, 504 from 5,040, means that we needed 4,536 grams of non-active ingredient. So to learn how much non-active ingredient we had to add, you would simply subtract this value from 4,536, and that's how much non-active ingredient we had to add to get to 5,040 grams. So there you have it. That's how to determine the amount of solution of a desired strength.